The 2008 offseason was an eventful one for the top Supercross riders. After earning the second title of his career, defending Supercross champion Chad Reed was back and ready to go, but this time on a different bike. switch from Yamaha, a team he had been a member of since he began his Supercross career, to Suzuki. Ironically, taking his place at Yamaha was none other than his nemesis, James Stewart. After spending the balance of last season injured, Stewart was ready to make his return, riding a wave of momentum since coming off a dominating outdoor nationals championship over the summer. Switching teams is no easy task. It involves hours and hours of practice on the new machine and endless changes to the bike's tuning to meet the rider's needs. Perhaps all the competitors returning to their old familiar teams would have an edge on the dominant pair. Supercross veteran Tim Ferry was back, bringing with him his trademark late race charges. Honda's Kevin Windham was also returning, ready to pick up where he left off the previous season. Wyndham battled Reed right down to the wire for the OA Championship, with Reed's win in Vegas being the victory that earned him the title. Wyndham's Honda teammate, Andrew Short, was looking to improve on his third place finish in the point standings a season ago. With 12 top 5 finishes, he was one of the most consistent riders in the field. Another Honda rider, Ivan Tedesco, was hoping to stay healthy and finally deliver the season-long performance that he had hinted at when he used to race in the Supercross Lights class. And let's not forget the young talent rife in Supercross. Davey Millsaps had three wins in 08, and Josh Hill surprised everyone and solidified himself as a top rider by grabbing the podium in Minneapolis. Ready to begin his rookie campaign was Ryan Villapoto, moving up from a very successful run in the lights class into Stewart's old Kawasaki ride. In his three seasons on the smaller bikes, Villapoto finished no lower than third on the leaderboard and claimed the West Lights Championship in 2006. In 35 years of Supercross, the talent pool had never looked so deep. But despite all the top-end talent, the burning question remained. Could anyone keep up with the blazing trail that was sure to be set by Stuart and Reed? Round number one in Anaheim might hold the answer.